Scientists in Amsterdam, Leiden and Tel Aviv managed to design the first mechanical metamaterials that can change into any predefined shape. They call these machine materials. Our lab has been creating mechanical metamaterials for a couple of years now. So far, these are periodic structures made from repeating the same building block over and over again. As a consequence, these materials are homogeneous, they're the same everywhere, and they cannot change into complex shapes. So we were wondering if we could create and design more complex metamaterials that can morph into any shape that we want. Step one was to design a functional building block, such as this flexible cube. Step two was to stack many copies of this building block to form what we called a metacube. In this example, uh, we have a periodic metamaterial, which, when compressed, changes shape and morphs into a complex 3D yet regular and homogeneous texture. So we wondered what would happen if instead of stacking uh, the building block periodically like sugar cubes in a box, um, we would stack the blocks uh, in, with different orientations. And we realized that this would work uh, if uh, the protrusions and dents at the surface of each block uh, could fit from neighbor to neighbor. This way, the whole metacube can deform in harmony. Together with our colleagues in Israel, we solved this 3D puzzle and discovered that the possibilities are nearly endless. The ordering of the blocks is like DNA as it encodes the functionality of the metacube. We then use 3D printing to bring these metacubes to life and study their properties here in the lab. One cool property is that we can rationally design the orientation of the building block and create a metacube whose surface can morph into any texture we want. Uh, we also realized that those uh, metacubes can sense and analyze mechanically patterns. These functionalities are more machine-like and so we called these uh, materials machine materials. Machine materials may find applications in prosthetics and wearable tech. The body is constantly in motion and you can design uh, such materials to follow along with this motion. We're also thinking about um, sensing and actuation applications for soft robotics. And for the future, we're thinking about reprogrammable materials. Think, for instance, of a cube that can both have an unhappy and a happy face. 